How's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this pretty simple hopper clock thing here. And basically what this allows you to do is add like a timer to different um, redstone events you want to happen. As you can see on this side on the left right here, you can see the light turn on. Um, every time this goes back and forth, I mean, they have this one turn off real fast. Wait, there we go. You just saw it. Um, so basically you can use this to create like a, a timing system for um, different builds you want to do. You can have it turn on lights around your build or pretty much do anything that needs to be time based. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to build this real quick. So let's get right into it. Now to build this, you're going to need a two a by six wide area, just like this. Um, I just put this uh, concrete on the floor so you can see the size you need. Um, but yeah, we'll once you have this amount of area, you're going to start by putting a temporary block, grabbing a redstone hopper, putting that into the block like so, you're coming around the other side, breaking that block, and then putting a hopper facing into that block, just like that. Um, so you want to have both hoppers looking into, looking into each other in the middle of this 2x6 area. So once you have that, what you're going to do is take your redstone comparators, face them out like that on both sides. So you should have something that looks like this now. Then both the comparators are gonna go into a block. Um, this can really be any type of block. I'm just gonna use brick right here. So you have something like this now. Then once you have that, you are gonna take your redstone, place it right next to each of these blocks. So there's going to be items in these hoppers and the comparators are going to detect that and then light up this redstone. And then once we have that, you're going to want a sticky piston, place it just like that. And then another one on the other side, just like that. So now you should have something that looks like this. Then you're going to take a redstone block and you can either place it here on the left or on the right. It really doesn't matter. Um, just like so. And basically this is the whole block done. But yeah, that's really not too complicated. Now, let's talk about setting the different like times on here. Um, so basically, you can set up to be pretty much any time you want as long as it's less than five stacks, um, you're good. So five stacks or less of items. And the way you set the time is by putting items into these hoppers. Um, so let's do five to begin with. Let's put that in real quick. You see that move initially. Now this will move as the items go back and forth, see, then we'll go up to five, moves, and then it goes down five, back up to five, and then down five, and we'll keep on doing that. So you could speed this up by taking out blocks like that. Now that's going a lot faster, or you could slow it down by putting in way more blocks, and that's just gonna slow this down. So if you want this clock to go faster, less blocks in the hopper, if you want the clock to go slower, put more blocks in the hopper. See, this is working. We can just put like a redstone lamp right there. Now, as you can see, this is lit up all the time and then it only turns off when this clock moves. Um, so you may not want this redstone to be activated all the time. So a way to have it off by default is to invert the signal. So let me show you how to do that real quick. We're gonna break that block. Um, so to invert the signal of this, you could either put a block here on the left or right here on the right. Um, so just, let's just do it right there right now. So the redstone is touching this block. Then you're going to take a redstone torch and put it on that block. And now you have inverted the signal. So the redstone is on um, all the time by default, by the way this clock works. And then that powers this block, which unpowers this um, redstone torch. So now the redstone is off by default. So if you need the redstone to be off by default and only turn on when the clock moves back and forth, um, you can invert the signal of this redstone by just doing this. So yeah, that's pretty simple. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.